from oh, <laughs> mental health to greed and wealth, Kevin Spacey has received a standing ovation in his first stage role since being cleared of sexual assault in July. The Oscar-winning actor, who was appearing at an Oxford University lecture on cancel culture, performed a five-minute scene from Shakespeare's Taman and of Athens, a play about a rich and revered Greek man who's rejected by his peers. What beast couldst thou be that were not subject to a beast? And what a beast thou art already, that seest not thy loss in transformation. Away, thou issue of a mangy dog, away, thou tedious fool, beast, toad, rogue, rogue, rogue. I am sick of this false world and will love it not. Spacey has previously quoted the piece in reference to his own experiences after being dropped by Hollywood in the wake of historical sexual assault allegations. Uh, historical sexual assault allegations that were never proved, but uh, the legal process, both sides of the Atlantic, doesn't matter anymore. If the public decides someone is guilty, they're guilty. Mm. Kevin uh, Spacey cleared of all these uh, 15 charges, wasn't it, on this side of the Atlantic, uh, remains well and truly cancelled. Uh, good to see him strutting his stuff there at the university because uh, proving what a great actor he is. We we lost a brilliant actor due to this cancellation. Uh, it was. That, that, but I do feel like he only has one mode, which is just sort of angry. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Well, no, have That's you seen uh, some bias about the here, Usual Suspects? You have the same name. Have you seen the Usual Suspects? Um, I haven't. Very, he's not, well, exactly. So you better. He was <laughs> angry at the end. Yeah, but he uh, it was very. Uh, no, he, I don't think he he doesn't play angry. But speaking of, of um... but he, he shouldn't be cancelled because he hasn't been found guilty. The court of public opinion is becoming the scourge of our times. Listen, cancel culture for someone like Kevin Spacey doesn't exist, Agreed. right? That is a, that that's been proven in that court. Well, he's cancelled. He, no, 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 he got a standing ovation. You know, he was filmed what doing this. What films has he made since this, he was arrested? That, that's not the point. What it I'm is saying rather. is... He has just made a film. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. He's, made, not, he's, made, he's, he's narrated a film, and it was going to be shown at the uh, uh, Prince Charles, Prince Charles. Uh, uh, Cinema in central London, and they just cancelled it, saying Charles. they were hor Listen. They didn't realise Kevin Spacey was n narrating it, and they are horrified by that. Why? What's he done? The thing is, you know, the, there are allegations or were allegations against him. Okay, they've been found to be untrue in a court of law, but yeah. that doesn't excuse the fact that people are still hurt by their experience with Kevin, and it will yeah. take time. But How it's not, they're not lying. But it's diminishing. The courts decided it's diminishing his acquittal to actually call this cancel culture because Absolutely. he's not cancelled. Exactly, because. For someone like Kevin Spacey, cancel culture doesn't exist. It's this catch-all term that people use akin to woke, when actually it's someone who is in a position of power is being called out on behaviour. And people will just say, oh, they're being cancelled, oh, to just kind of excuse him for the criticism. Right. But the fact is, he has not been cancelled. He got a standing ovation. He has a film out. Whether it's at the Prince Charles Theatre or not, he still made a film. He has not been cancelled. It's a narration, tiny film. He's not getting any big He's studio films. Canceled. He's not getting any work at all. He's cancelled. He but hasn't this was quite a canceled. serious. It's obvious. This was a very serious situation with serious allegations. Cancel culture refers to, to not true. someone tweeting something that's exactly. kind of annoying. Like this is actually a much more serious. A serious situation, you shouldn't be diminishing it. But, 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 if, but if he's I'm gone through the whole they were process... were found not to be true in a court. If he's gone through the whole process um, of courts and you know, been found yeah. to be not guilty, it, dot, dot, dot. It is very difficult to know what to do then with that person who is tainted by the experience. Now, yeah. we all know, because we've talked about rape convictions so, so much in this, mm -hmm. in this studio, that you know, 1% of you know, rapists allegedly are, are convicted, so 99% are getting away with it. But that's not the people who necessarily get taken to court. Those yeah. are the ones who never get to court. Mm -hmm. So we all... It, <coughs> it's important for us all to believe that Kevin Spacey is innocent, but it seems that nobody does believe that he's innocent with, without then saying, oh, well, you can't do that because that means you're being unkind to the alleged... Well, I guess it's a bit like your neighbour. If you don't like your neighbour, you won't go and hang out with them, right? But it doesn't mean they need to go to jail. And maybe we just don't like Kevin Spacey. Maybe that's it. <laughs> that's a good point. So maybe, maybe, so maybe I like was, Kevin Spacey there, a lot. I think he's a so, brilliant actor. So maybe he him. was an unpleasant person who perhaps didn't do the really heinous things he was... I mean, that's actually a good way of looking at it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can still dislike him without thinking yeah, yeah. he's a rapist. Yes, By the way, James, right, yeah. James, you've got to watch The Usual Suspects. It's a brilliant film. <laughs> I actually do agree with Kevin on yeah, that. There you go. Yeah, wow. Check it out. You agree. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, coming up, a legal